Hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing um, a lesson based on a post I put up on a couple days ago on a little Walter tune, a Lockwood uh, comping pattern. Um, and it's a, it's a comping, um, you know, pattern that uh, he uses in, in a few different songs. Um, I posted a tune called One More Chance With You, which is a great tune. Um, he also does a similar thing on... Um, boom boom out go the lights and there's some live recordings he does in um, Japan with the aces and he's doing the same thing there now keep in mind this is just one of a couple different patterns that he'd use for a 12 bar um, 12 bar form but uh, it's I think it's super cool and super useful um, and the since I don't know how he played it uh, pattern wise um, I'm just kind of using what I would like to use and um, based on the sound that I'm hearing um, but it's gonna be in the key of F um, check out the solo breaks on one more chance with you there's some really kind of nice ideas and there's quite a few of them so I'm just gonna go through one 12 bar thing that I hear so it's an F but instead of playing the F there I'm going to play the F here. And the reason being is that almost immediately he makes a quick change to using a 4. It's a 4 6. So. And to, you could do. Either one's going to work. But the reason I like this is right here. So I have the 1. back to the four again but I'm gonna be voicing a seven and I like this seven shape it's a stretcher and the way it works is kind of based off of a C structure um, the way that I, I look at it just you know is here's my F you know just kind of finishing off that chord so one sure if I'm hearing it but I play the nine and then I'm gonna go to the four here for the first bar of the four chord second bar is not gonna be a diminished like uh, you'd probably think it's, it's gonna be a minor and I'm fairly certain of this because there's quite a few Lockwood licks where it's four major to four minor you know an example of So, with that being said, you know, his licks seem to outline chords quite a bit. And there's some neat kind of uh, things that happen with that. So I'm going to hit 4, add that 9, minor, and then it's going to be um, a walk-up, diatonically. Um, Kind of like what you hear, like T-bone playing in like a like a Snorri Monday or something. So we have the one, and then to keep with the voice leading, uh, instead of walking up, which is the easier thing to do, um, you know, get a, is I'm gonna go. And you can see it's a C formation. I'm just flatting the third. So instead, yeah, you know, F, G. There's a G major. But I'm gonna make it F minor or G minor. A minor. And then I'm gonna take a C9, like what I do down here. So if I play from the top, you go one, two, a one, two, three, four. out really nicely so one more time slowly and 
He has different variants, so I'm not going to make any um, statements saying this is the only way he does it. But you know, for for a quick uh, uh, comping, I, you know, pattern over over a harp, over over this sort of swing and shuffle, I think it's really nice. So again, one. C9, now you can change the patterns around, you can see if you, you know, want to use E structures on the 1 or the 4, but anyway, that's a real quick one, and I hope you guys enjoy that, um, and uh, I look forward to posting some more really soon. Take care.